he yielded to Satan. And Satan became the prince of this world. Was there a wall? Was there a middle wall of partition? Even when Daniel went to pray, Daniel said, Daniel, we heard your prayer the first day. But there's a battle taking place. Every time that man wanted to get to God, Satan was there to interfere. Oh, Satan, have you considered my servant Job? Yeah, I've considered him. You built a wall around him. You've blessed him. You've done all these things. Yeah, I've considered him. Let me get my hands on him. I'll make him curse you to your face. God said, I tell you what, you can have at him. Because I'm going to show you a thing or two. Amen. 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 I'm talking about an awesome God. I'm talking about a heavenly father that sometimes he may flex his muscles just a little bit. Have at him. He just can't take his life. Don't touch his soul. Satan went down there and worked, wrecked havoc upon his place, destroyed everything, took everything he had, took his family. And then sent him some miserable comforters to finish him off. Oh, but old Job said, when he come back to his senses, you know his wife over there, you might as well curse God and die. Look at all this. He's allowed all these things. How many times does the devil come talk to you? Having a little problem, having a little sickness, having problems in the family. How many times the devil come to you? Well, if God really loved you, he wouldn't let this happen. Oh, but devil, let me tell you something. All things work to the good of them that love the Lord. I might be going through a problem today, but God's got something better on the other side. I ain't talking about a positive attitude. I'm talking about a positive life. I'm talking about something that we don't try to conjure up so we can think positive. I'm talking about something that's on the inside, that Holy Ghost, that Spirit of God. We're talking about that little bit that can change the world. Who do we think we have? Who do we think we have? That's why I got a little Christ child. Well, that little Christ child happens to be you and your growth. (laughs) Because you become one with his spirit. You've been born of that spirit. And it's growing. But don't forget that spirit that dwells on the inside of you is God Almighty. (laughs) He just needs to be turned loose. Job said, yet the skin worms devour my flesh, yet in my flesh I'll see God. Say, who had the last laugh? I wonder what the devil was saying the next time he come around. God done give back Job everything double over. Oh, Satan, I thought you was going to make him mock me to my face, curse me to my face. What happened? Let the devil know he wasn't quite as bad as he thought he was. That middle wall of partition broke it. There at Calvary, he became my sin. Somebody was talking about that. As to what held him there. What nailed him to the cross. We can blame a people. But it was your sin and my sin. That took him to the cross. He became my sin. That I might become. The righteousness of God. Be careful. Don't overdo it. That's what the word of God said. That 
ain't something I come up with. He became sin. You know, some people want to take that and they want to make it like some great revelation to where, you know, and, and they begin to talk about Jesus and, and, and Satan and these things, and they get things mixed and construed. Let me tell you something. Jesus Christ never sinned once. He was perfect. There was nothing that could be laid to his charge. He was the perfect one. He never sinned. He became sin willingly. He took my place. He was the one that stepped in the courtroom and said, I'll go to the cross for their play, in their place. They sinned. They deserve to die. They have done all these things, but I will go. Why? To redeem. I'm going to do away with that middle wall of petition. He called them gods that the word of God came to? Well, if they were gods that the word of God came to, then what would they be if, the word, if that word would dwell within them? Moses, I've made you God to the people. I've made you God to Aaron. If they were so powerful that they were looked upon as gods just because the Spirit of God came upon them, because the Word of God came to them, what should we be doing today if the Word of God is dwelling within? We missed the point. As he hung out at Calvary and said, it is finished. What was finished? The veil of the temple. Rent. Top to bottom. He came down. And he rent that veil. He made a way. That now you can go into the holies of holies. He said, you won't need a man to teach you. You'll have the Holy Ghost. In other words, I'm not going to have to come to the prophets to speak to you anymore. But that Holy Ghost that's on the inside will begin to speak. It will begin to open things up. It will begin to reveal. Hallelujah. Let's see if we can read some more. Middle wall of petition between us. He's done away with it. Having abolished. I'll say this. The biggest wall of petition you have is you. Amen. Is you. You are your biggest wall of petition. You are the biggest thing between you and God. Don't blame it on your neighbor. Don't blame it on your wife. Don't blame it on your husband. Don't blame it on your children. Don't blame it on all the other people around you. Or the biggest wall of petition between you and God. If you ain't getting to God, God has done everything. It's your fault. It's you. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man so making peace he rent that veil he made it himself twain one new man that old part was done away with he came in the image of sin Even as that serpent that was hung there in the wilderness. I hung it up there on that tree for people to look upon. That brazen serpent. The Lord Jesus. That was a type of the Lord Jesus hanging there on Calvary. To be crucified. To do away with that image of sin. To do away with it. It's what the ministry. It's what the ministry has to do with. That's why they're crucified. That's why Paul said, "I die all the day long." 
there for the seed of life to flow through. But to be crucified, even as Christ.